We are back here at the Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships here in Indian Wells, California. We are here on center court. We are now going to send it down to the court to get the player introductions. Zero zero two. Slide out. Zero zero one. Point. Both teams pretty warm. They've been yeah. playing all One, day two, long. <laughs> like we said, we just had Urban and Bright just get off of this court. On the back side, Todd and Stratman have been playing still, so both teams should be ready to go here tonight. Seven, sir. One, zero, two. So quick feeling out process for Zero both one teams. One. But a one point lead for Todd and Stratman. Two out of three here. Oh, and <laughs> Paris Todd covering for Stratman on the stack, but didn't realize that Stratman had made it all the way up. <laughs> yeah. one, one, Almost one. hits her on her backswing. Point. Stratman's going to clean that two up. One she one. just got off of not too long ago getting in those long rallies with Leia Jansen. So 
it's no stranger that she can go 10, 12, 20 balls <laughs> on that backhand side. So she's gonna she's gonna clean that up and and make sure that that gets over. Two one two. Wow, I think that last ball from the Stratman played was going out. I think so too. But she had some great resets there in the Just middle. Good. Three, one, two. She cannot believe she missed that right there. Yeah, and we're now seeing the strategy of Brighton Irvin is to pressure Stratman. Every single dink's going to her. I like that she's staying calm, working the ball around, not going for too much. She came out on top of that one. Nice job right there. And again, Thanks Stratman, you. we talked about that with her in my interview after the match, saying, you know, you got out of that One, strategy two, of going hard cross court to lay a Jansen in that match. Was it something you guys talked about? And she said, yeah, I just needed to get out of it. Right now, I think she needs to get out of that with Anna Bright and go a little bit more to the middle. Bright thinking she's got something in the middle right there, but. It looked like she did. It was a little yeah. high of a dink there from Stratman, but not able to get her wrist underneath that ball and get it over the net. Just missing that line is Anna Bright and Paris Todd looks back and goes, just missed it by that much. And they do play together as well, One, three, Todd one. and Bright. So a lot of respect between these those two ladies. Oh, and off the tape right there, Anna Bright gets the winner. And that's something Bright's gonna do this whole match. She's gonna pull that two-handed back and either down the line right at Todd or go cross court, try and find the middle there. Point. Two, three, two. Yeah, Todd bought a half step slow on that. And I like that move from Todd. I think what's happening is she's now a little concerned that Stratman's right behind her. Three, and so two, when one. you're when you don't have that comfortability or thinking you have that free shot and you don't want to get in her way, it makes you second guess your movement and swinging through that ball. And I think that's what's happening right now. Four, two, one. Sitting on that two, she just over hits it to the sideline. Watch her just be, she's completely ready for that. Thank but you. trying to go to the left foot of Lauren Stratman, but just over hits it. Four, two, two.
Wow, Parrish thought finally I'm able to get on top of that last two-hander. Wow. Watch her right here just step into this. <laughs> Beautiful winner and a side out. Two for one. Irvin goes a little wide now on the opposite sideline. Yeah, and what you don't want to have happen here is what happened in the Waters and Parento match is Irvin started to miss a couple easy balls that she usually Three makes and it got in her head and they started to go down quickly. So she can make that adjustment, again, start doing placement over power just to get her settled into this match. Then she can start going for a little bit more. It's a good pull there from Bright. Again, that two-handed backhand is going to be trouble for the side of Stratman and Todd. As do, she disguises it so well because she has such an aggressive roll dink. Three, four, two. That between her, when she pulls it to speed it up, looks very similar. Oh, nice job right there from Anna Bright. Splitting the difference between Stratman and yep. Paris Todd. And a side out here and see if Jesse Irvin can feed off of her partner right here. Four, three, one. Oh, nice job. And again, right there, Irvin taking something off that. So if she pulls and hits that at about 90%, that ball's right up in the wheelhouse of Todd. Instead, she takes something off and gets down at the shins. Yeah, oh, wow. Great hold by Paris. Touch goes backside on Anna Bright. Wow. Great shot. Five, three, two. Wow, yeah, I'm not sure Paris Todd wanted to do that there. <laughs> no, I don't think so. And that's why I really do like yes, Todd on the right and Stratman on the Six, left. Two. I think they're just both way more comfortable on those sides. Here comes Jesse Irvin. The last thing anybody needs on the other side of the net is a fired up Jesse Irvin. And very quickly, Stratman recognizes that, looks at Paris Todd and goes, yeah, we're gonna take a time out here. Probably a good idea. As you see Irvin and Bright on a roll here. What's been the difference for you, Cam? Why they take a four point lead here? I think it's the different look. I don't think that Todd and Stratman are used to seeing us especially them. Jesse Irvin, we, they don't see each other a lot on the tour. A lot of them play on the APP, some play on the PPA. So it's a different ball and a different style of game that Jesse Irvin has that Todd and Sherman aren't used to seeing week in and week out. And right now she's placing that ball so well. You don't have a lot of girls that take the ball with a one-handed backhand punch often. Right. You see a lot of two-handed, just like with Bright, she can pull it, she can roll it, but you don't have a lot of women that have the power to take it with that one hand. So I think right now, Todd isn't used to seeing that from from a woman on the other side, and Jesse is perfecting that right now. She was missing a lot in the waters in Parento. Mm -hmm. I think she made those adjustments. She's bending her knees a little bit more, getting more active, making sure she's getting underneath that ball in order to put it exactly where she wants it on the other side. So she's my factor right now as to why they are up. All right, so as they come back in, a four-point lead here for Irvin and Bright. Jesse Irvin dialing it in right now. She went wide, sideline to sideline early in this match. And now she is kind of recalibrated, and they have a four-point lead. Yeah. 
Nice job of Todd getting on top of that right there and a quick side out. Three, seven, one. All right, so Irvin yelling at Bright as that ball's going out. Remember, it was the high-pitched out yeah. is what, is yeah, what she Bright She listens to the high-pitched out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Irvin dialed in right now, Cam. She's zoned in. She is, and she's now where it was placement versus power. Now she's settled in that she can put more pop on the ball right now. Oh, and Jesse Irvin finding a spot right down the boulevard as she goes forehand winner. Love it. Jesse Irvin dialed in. Eight, three, this is the Jesse Irvin that you know, we were talking about earlier. Cam and an unforced error there from Todd and a 9-3 lead here for Irvin and Bright in total control. 9-3-1. Yeah, great ball there from Stratman as she Straddles that sideline right there. Get that first one and punishes that forehand down the middle. But still have work to do here as it's still second server for Irvin and Bright. All right, hold there for Stratman and Todd but have to answer here, down by six in game number one. Wow, that ball that Anna Bright played was going so out off the pedal of Paris Top, but she could not get out of the way. That was some great movement there by Todd. She completely took control of that point. And what I liked about it is Stratman allowed that. And I think that's why it was so successful versus crowding her a little bit too much, which was ha happening in the beginning of this game, allowing for her not to swing all the way through the ball. Four, nine, two. Nice coverage there from Stratman in the middle. And here comes Stratman and Todd chipping away at that lead. 5-9-2. Oh, can't have that right there. You're in a dink battle. Unforced there on an easy ball. Stratman knows it too. Jesse Bright going watch, watch, and then Bright comes over with a big poach, and it'll give her and Jesse Irvin a How game much point. <laughs> they just turn defense into offense with that movement there by Anna Bright. So timeout here from Stratman and Todd, but what a move there from Anna Bright to give her and Jesse Irvin a game point here in game one. So Stratman and Todd answer. They come back and chip away a little bit, but then Irvin and Bright say, okay, we've seen enough. We're going for it. And Anna Bright does right there, and it'll give them a game point here. 
but what is it that Stratman and, and Todd need to do, not even just for this first game, but maybe even leading into the second game to change the momentum? I think they need to dink a little bit more to Irvin and find the middle. I think they're doing having a lot of dink rallies over to Anna Bright. She's handling it so incredibly well. Like I said, I think she has such a great backhand roll. It is very heavy. As we saw here, even as she got pulled out wide by the kitchen, could have gone an ATP. She went a hard angle back over in the kitchen so and was able to keep them in to get that last point there. So I would like to see some dinks in the middle, see if they can't get some confusion there and over to Irvin just to change the pattern up a little bit see if they can't get a different look there. And like I said, they've been switching quite a bit, but I don't want them to to switch the sides. I want Stratman to stay on the left and I want Todd to stay on the right. They're gonna go right back to that. Oh. And on force there, there from Paris right. Todd on the two-handed backhand will give Anna Bright and Jesse Irvin game number one by a score of 11-5 here on championship court. Game two coming up next here at the Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships in the Women's Pro Bronze Medal Match. Women's Pro Bronze Medal Match here at Indian Wells at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden. Game two, time in. Pickleball zero, zero, Mecca two. right now, the Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships. Winner on a championship Sunday. Loser gets bronze, and that is just a full onslaught right there from Lauren Stratman and Paris Todd to start, Cam. And you know, when we were watching Todd and Stratman earlier, when they looked like they were going to lose One, zero, and they came and fought back in that match, it was Lauren Stratman's forehand that made all the difference. When she fired up and she was able to create damage with it is when they started getting points back on the board and won that match. So I'd like her to take charge a little bit more, see if she can't make some opportunity happen with that forehand drive. On again right there, set up by about a 50% backhand flip from Jesse Irvin to give Anna Bright the winner. Zero one one. Point. Nice job. It's almost a bait shot right there from Jesse Irvin as Paris Tov flips one, that one. forehand into the net. All tied at one. Point. Yeah, Jesse just playing really well right now, Cam. She definitely isn't. She's seeing something Two, one, one. being on being straight up with Todd that she's a little bit uncomfortable with her pulling that trigger right there being straight up with her. So Todd's going to have to make the adjustment or like they did put her back on the right side. Bright just came up on that just a little bit. Great resets from Jesse Irvin in the middle of that just to keep them in that point. Two and two. Second server. Great job, Paris Todd doubling up on the forehand side of Jesse Irvin. And what I like there was Stratman's movement. I don't think she was one, necessarily two, going for the poach, but she created a lot of movement that Irvin had to pay attention to to hit a good dink, and it caused an error there. I like that move on the side of Todd and Stratman. 
right on cue. I don't like that pull right there from <laughs> no. Ratman, though, unfortunately. One, two, He's got to stay in that point, keep battling, keep grinding it out. <laughs> Irvin Side lets up. it go. Watch this right here. Doesn't even turn to look. That's <laughs> out. I know it's out. I know the size of the court. And we're good. Point. Just wide right there. Shrapman a little frustrated. Hits that ball back down the middle. Didn't mean to hit it towards Jesse Irvin. Apologize right away. Yeah. <laughs> Three, one, one. Just frustrated she missed that ball cross court on an easy ball. Yeah. Oh, nice Ernie there from Lauren Stratman. What a good read. She read that early. She was standing there waiting for the ball. And I like that you have to change something up. You lost the first game. You're down one, in the two. second. Yes, it's only one three here, but any movement right now can cause errors, can create opportunities just like you saw. So I really like, that's a beautiful shot there by Bright. Yeah. But Pulling I like, back yeah, but line. I like the movement now that Stratman is implementing in this game. And I'm glad that she's doing it early in the second game and not waiting until it's later on the second game. Maybe they don't have a chance to come back. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That is Jesse Irvin teeing off on this two-hander. But how does she clear? She steps to the right. She clears her hips, gives herself space so she can fully extend on that. And right now, I mean, what's the answer for Stratman and Todd? Because Irvin and Bright are cruising along here in game number two, Cam. That they really are. What I liked that worked in the beginning was they were really pressuring that nice roll dink to Irvin's forehand. We need to keep it away from her backhand. They need to keep it away from Irvin because she's so tricky and has not only a two-handed lethal backhand, but she can also pull it with just the one hand backhand. So I think right now, keeping it away from her on her backhand side, rolling it to her forehand, that was creating a lot of opportunity. And then Stratman can come over if she needs to on that side, even if it's not to Ernie, but to create the movement. Yeah, so I uh, like that move right there. Uh, we'll see what comes from it as Julian Arnold is over on the court with Paris Todd and Lauren Stratman. But Jesse Irvin looking really good right now. She's dialed in. Ever since in game one, she went wide with two dinks, so one on each side. She has been dialed in here in this match and trying to punch that ticket back to the gold medal match. Yeah, they want to <laughs> they want to go into tomorrow. But I like the adjustment that Irvin made from the previous match to this match. It just shows what an incredible player she is and how much it, it, the loss doesn't affect her. She's going to come right back and she's going to compete like we know how she is. Yeah, nice combo right there. Stratman did stay in the cross court battle there, so not a bad decision for her right there, but I don't think in the long run that's gonna benefit her. But she does come out on top, I like it. That's like a tomahawk overhead <laughs> from Jesse Irvin. Like I said, her reach is so long, laterally, vertically. Yeah, and there's the pull from Stratman again. That pull is not a pull for a winner here, All right? So we watch. That pull's not for the winner, it's for the setup on the next one. It's to jam yep. and then get the put away. Oh, 
Big two-hander right there from Anna Bright to finish it. Again, watch her get on top of this. Dip that front shoulder. That's a winner. And I don't think that's what Stratman was looking to do, what she did previously, which was jam her and get the put away. That one just didn't work out in her favor. All the credit to Anna Bright. That's what I want. I want Stratman to change that pace up, change that spot. She does here really well. And they went to Irvin's forehand. They kept pressuring it and pressuring it, ended up getting an error. Come on. Side out. Big side out here for Paris Todd and Lauren Stratman. Within three here, game two, they need this second game to force a game three here in the women's pro doubles bronze medal match. Second serve. Tough to Two miss a two. serve right there. Really need to get some points on the board. Point. On Irvin clips the tape and it goes wide. Three, five, two. Wow, nice pull from a low position for Lauren Stratman, and they are within one. Yeah, Lauren's making all the difference right now. She's really changing up the pattern. Like we said, she kept going that hard cross court. Now she's pulling it line and doing it very effectively. Wow, big, Golly. big ball down the middle there from Jesse Irvin. I don't even think that's as hard as she can hit it. No, God. nobody's getting that one though. Five, four, one. Wow, Anna Bright getting herself out of trouble. She was pinned back behind the baseline, but works her way up and gets a forehand winner. Great job staying in that point. Six four one. Come on. Go, right now, right now. Good pressure cross court Six thing from Stratman. Six four two. tough ball to speed up because she put some spin on it and then Todd blocks it and has some extra spin on it. I'd like her just to reset that. That is just some pure power, Cam. It really is and like we said before, the success of Todd and Stratman, I, I want them to go to Irvin's forehand. Right now, they're so heavily hitting to the backhand of Bright and to Four, the six, middle eight. of Irvin's backhand. Both of those very strong shots for both of those girls. I think it's some of Side their up. best shots are their backhands. Mm -hmm. Let's pressure Irvin on her forehand side. That's where you were getting some success, at least changing up the pattern. They're neglecting it right now. Six, I would four, like one. them to regroup and Stratman to start placing the ball over on Jesse's forehand side. Sorry. Oh, and off the tape, winner right there. And Irvin and Bright will go up 7-4 now. 7-4-1. Now. Yeah. 
Yeah, nice hands there from Paris. Taught him to speed up from Anna Breitkamp. Yeah, it really was. Again, they're still pressuring that side, but ended up coming out on top on that one. 7-4-2. Came up a little bit, right, Cam? You see her coming in and she just pops up on that. Right, versus staying low Number with that one. ball. Hard to do when you're moving up. It's people you really don't want to move through the ball, create some errors, make the adjustment. There, and the one that Stratman gets out of the rhythm, she puts Irvin in the middle on that and then causes her to move a different direction. I love it that she changed it up right there. Yes. And then it gets Irvin having to move a little bit. Wow, she saw <laughs> that middle and again, didn't put too much on it, but held it just long enough to split them down the middle. Yeah! Irvin doing everything she can to block those balls, just can't get them down in a position that's unattackable. And that's exactly what got them to continue to even be here in the first place, Todd and Stratman, was changing their game to being so aggressive and hitting more drives than drops. Let's see if they implement a little bit more drives, see if they can't get some po more points up here. It's the team who will dictate changing the spot right now. And Irvin and Bright are not willing to do it. Stratman and Todd are willing to do that. That's why they've tied it up. What else are you seeing though, Cam? What could Irvin and Bright do to kind of get out of this funk that they're in right now? Well, I, I would like them to switch it back up. I know that they just put Irvin on the left and Bright on the right. I think they were having success when it was swapped. I would like them to switch back and let's put their comfortabilities, right? Let's put Bright's backhand on the outside. Let's put Irvin's backhand in the middle. They were having so much success, but hindsight to the other side, Stratman's now changing it up. So I don't know if it would still be as successful, but I would like them to switch back. Let's go ahead and have Anna Bright on the left. What's working so well for them is she's able to pull that backhand and drive it cross court. When she drives it, she immediately slides for a forehand. Mm -hmm. That's how Bright has been so successful on the left, which is why I didn't like them to change it up in the first place, but I'm not them. I'm not <laughs> down there. That's fine. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens out of this timeout. Irvin and Bright take that timeout. We're all tied here at seven. Stratman and Todd trying to win game two and force a third game. Side out. Good timeout and a side out here for Irvin and Bright. And they will go back to putting Anna Bright on the seven, left seven, and one. Irvin on the right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, and Stratman kind of fooled herself right there. She almost tried to do a little too much going around into an Ernie position. I would like for her to have pulled that down the line right to Irvin's forehand. Eight, seven, one. Second serve. See, before Stratman would have taken that cross court to Bright's backhand, so I'm glad she switched it up and went right to Irvin's forehand. Oh, nice counter from Todd, because if she doesn't counter that, Anna Bright's coming in and shaking, baking that ball. Seven, eight, one.
Stratman changed the spot. She went to the middle, it threw things off a little. Anna Bright tried to speed it up. Paris Todd on top of it. Yes. Stratman's doing a really good job right now in changing up the pattern and the ball placement. Second serve. I liked it. She just swung down. <laughs> That's hers. Eight, eight, two. Nine out of ten times. Wow, that one-handed backhand is lethal in the middle. Side up. Nobody steps aside and you <laughs> give someone a one-handed <laughs> backhand when your forehand's there, but Anna Bright did. As she should. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, and yeah. the big <laughs> fist pump. <laughs> sorry, you watch Anna Bright go right here. The sorry, nine eight one, and the fist pump. What a setup from Paris Todd. Yes. She had it, she had it set up beautifully, but all of a sudden it is game and match point for Irvin and Bright here up 10-8. I mean, that ball was sitting on Paris Todd's paddle cam. But do you see how much more opportunity they're creating by dinking to Irvin's forehand side? That's what I would like to get. I, I understand they're going back and forth right now with Bright and Stratman, but I would like Stratman to hit the ball to Irvin and then she's going cross court to Todd and Todd has a really nice top spin roll dink that is pushing Irvin and making her very uncomfortable and having to really reach. Mm -hmm. I would like them, I know I keep saying it, but to go to Irvin's forehand and Todd can create a lot with her, with her forehand rolls dink. It's very comfortable for her. She can take him out of the air. She can change the speed of him, put a little extra sauce on him. That's, I think, where they're going to get some success if they can stay in this, get some points. That's what they're going to have to take into the third game. Use both timeouts, one timeout left. Time is in. 10 8 1. So, game and match point here for Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright to move on to Championship Sunday. Wow, Jesse Irvin with a big two-hander right there to end it. And they are moving on to Championship Sunday. 11-5, 11-8, Irvin and Bright. A good run by all these ladies here, but Stratman and Todd played so incredibly well all day long, getting them into the medal match here. They're going to go home with bronze. We're going to have Anna Bright, Jesse Irvin playing tomorrow in the gold medal match. You guys do not want to miss it. It is going to be an incredible matchup. They've been very successful outside of this on some other tours. They've actually won gold together before. So look for them to bring that fire into championship day Sunday tomorrow. What I really like there is they really stuck to their game plan. Irvin was able to regroup from not playing so well earlier to now coming into this medal match and getting them into championship day Sunday. Shows what an incredible competitor she is, why she's one of the best in the world. She's able to forget about that, move on, get refocused, and hit the game plan to make them successful. We are now going to throw it down to Dom. He's with the winners, Anna Bright and Jesse Irvin. First and foremost, let's give it up for our bronze medalists, Lauren Stratman and Paris Todd. Congratulations, ladies. I'm with Anna Bright, Jesse Irvin. Congratulations, first and foremost, to you, ladies. Jesse, I'll start with you. In game one, you went wide on two dinks, one sideline, then the other sideline, and then it seemed like you just dialed it in. What was the difference for you? 
Yeah, you know, I kind of just, uh, the first couple points, I'm usually just getting a feel for the paddle, the ball, you know, as it gets later in the day, it gets colder, so the ball's a little bit harder as compared to earlier, so it takes me just a couple, and then I kind of lock in and stay focused and keep going, yeah. All right, well, Anna, playing next to Jesse, you guys have teamed up recently a lot. How is it in the partnership moving forward, moving into Championship Sunday against Anna Lee Waters and Catherine Parento? Yeah, we're super excited that we earned ourselves uh, that rematch. We didn't play our cleanest match, and uh, they're a stellar team, um, but we feel like we can give them a better run for their money tomorrow, so really glad we put ourselves in that position. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who stayed out this late and cheered. You know, we really appreciate it in the cold as well. Um, so thanks to all of you guys, and uh, also congrats to Paris and Lauren. You know, we played them in our first match, and they fought back and, and really pushed us there, so congrats to them as well. All right, well, congratulations, ladies. We will see you tomorrow, Championship Sunday. One more match here on Championship Court. Matt Wright, Riley Newman taking on Ben and Colin Johns in the men's pro gold or bronze medal match, excuse me, here at the 2022 Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships.